Happy to move, Mr. Chair. Oh, in a hurry, I've been waiting all day. I always yeah. think it's offensive. I've been sitting here since 9.30 and we've moved <laughs> and second it straight away. We'll let, uh, I hear what you're saying, but we'll just let Neil. Through, we'll through the chair. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Neil Huang uh, from Financial Planning Strategy. Um, so I have today uh, Andre Lipa and uh, Catherine Edemis with me. They are from the Development Program <coughs> Office. In front of you today is a budget update report. This is the pretty standard report that we bring to you as on a as required basis. So in today's reports, we're recommending an increase in budgets to three projects within the city centre program that's funded from the city centre targeted rates. So I consider this a relatively short report and straightforward, so I'll take it as given as read, and I'll be happy to take any questions. We have a mover already. We have a seconder. Second. Yep. Councillor Darby, any questions? No, it's all from the targeted. Okay. Uh, the move is Councillor hey, Walker. Can I ask a question, please? Yes. What sort of consultation has been done around um, the city feature lighting? Any, or just have you just talked to heart of the city about it in the, before the business is? Um, through you, Mr. Chair, that, that's a project that has been led by Heart of the City, so this is a financial contribution to that, to project. that project, okay. so it's, it's their lead to, to undertake any consultation. Just following up on that, and what are they reporting back on? Paragraph 11, Heart of the City will report back with further information on... Through, through you, Mr. Chair. Um, that item is essentially in there as a placeholder. Um, it's a, uh, there's still a business case to come forward for it. Um, so this is for, for want of, a, it's protecting the funding there if that um, proposal proceeds as, as in, as so it's not definite. So it's not definite. It's not definite and they're gonna come back with a further information on, on to say that the business case. On, on costs and program. So, so why are we needing to do the placeholder at this point? Um, through you, Mr. Chair. Uh, so every six months, the, so the City Centre Targeted Rate um, Programme of Work is reviewed every six months, and the intention is to get this project delivered um, in uh, kicking off in July this year, so the budget needed to, to be there in place, knowing that there was um, scope in the budget for that project um, while they were undertaking their business case. We have a. You're right, Councillor Lee. Sorry, oh, sorry, we're just having a little wee chat here. Just. <laughs> um, so we can get that you're catching the, the six month cycle and, and being proactive. Um, but how is it usual for us to, to do we know all the details it's estimated at 800K? It's contingent on 500K from other sources. So there's a lot of estimations and so Putting this money aside, when the business case isn't done, and when it's not... Mm. So n normally wouldn't we have subject to, approve a contribution subject to? If you look at recommendation C, we just... What is subject to them finding <coughs> 500,000? <000. coughs> well, the business case hasn't even been done. I mean, just like for the record, I think yeah. this could be amazing and fantastic. Yeah. I've no problem with it. But just in terms of tightening up that rezo there. Uh, through the chair. Yep. Yep. Uh, through the chair, it is, a, it is a, a preliminary estimate at this stage, which will be firmed up once the business case is written. But we could add in subject two, couldn't we? The heart of the city obtaining 500,000 is not going to do any harm. Through, through, through you, Mr Chair. Um, all, all in, whenever we make um, a grant contribution like this, it's subject to um, a funding agreement. 
and Council doesn't release any funds um, prior to confirmation that total funding for the project has, has been um, confirmed. So there, there is no risk that any funding would be released prior to all project funding being in place. Okay, so we we'll just take it as read, we're comfortable. Is, can, can I ask, so are you happy with the way that the, the wording is in that resolution? Can, is it, it doesn't read like it's subject to just straight out. Um, through the chair, I think that could be worded a little better. I think it, um, we need to link in that um, it is contingent on Heart and the City obtaining um, remaining funding. Um, so it could be subject, subject to a funding agreement being concluded to council's satisfaction. That confirms the project costs and part of the city, part of the city's ability. Project costs and part of the, the part of the city's ability to fund the uh, remaining contribution. You comfortable, Council Lee, does that yes. help you? Rather than remaining, it would be to fund their contribution. To fund their contribution, yes. Yep. Did you take the word remaining out? To fund their contribution, yeah. So that picks up on the points through the chair that have been discussed that this is still Work in progress. moving. Yeah. Mover and second are happy with that. Yes, we can yep. do thumbs up there. Okay, thumbs up everywhere. I put the resolution. All those in favour say aye. 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 Against. Thank you for being patient. Uh, 18. 